Greetings and salutations. It's your boy D. Boom for LLE Ascension, aka LLE Astrology, aka LLE Tarot, and this is the Divine Masculine situation from <coughs> August 5th through the 12th, I believe. Yeah, 5th through the 12th. My Masculine situation. Um, no rants. Uh, if you need a reading from me, click on the link below. Um, Estimated waiting times are 24 to 48 hours. If you want to do a life coaching session, I'm free for those in the next 24 hours. Look on the information below to kind of get guided on what you need to do. If all those fails, things get confused, and just send me an email, okay? Let's get with it. <clears throat> new energies, new week. Bomb ass separation reading. Kind of got. A lot of insight on the whole pinnacle escalation process. You know, the whole manning up and manifestation part of the four, I mean, the 3D growth of the Divine Master. Which I analyzed doing that, but you should check it out. Um, it's got some good points in there. But all in all, for the breakdown of this masculine reading, I'm going to do a karmic reading for the breakdown. And then uh, I'm going to do the same for the Divine Feminine. Do a karmic breakdown for her. And like I say, the karmic doesn't have to be a person. Like the karmic role, it could be, like I say, job, family. It could be a plethora of things. It's energy. Just got to read it. You know what I mean? Just got to read it. So get straight to it. Reading starts in two minutes. Divine Masculine's situation. Overall energy, bottom line energy, let's get with it. Damn. <laughs> Why am I asking the situation? It's got the Decepticon, Decepticon card, overall energy, kicking this bitch off. And he tool a couple. And a devil card here that just flew out my freaking hand. Lame. Uno momento. This motherfucker really running away from me. <laughs> Devil car running away. Got uphill battles on this piece. At least the master was going through the dark night of soul, kicking this thing off with him. So, I mean, I don't feel better because of that shit, but we should see that car going both, both ways. Get with it. Ain't hey, hey, nothing all day. I'm sorry. These pretzels and coffee is all I'm kicking right now. All right. Over our energy, we got the Decepticon. Divine masculine situation. He's not being his true authentic self. While he's to a cupman out here, bottom line, this is the lover's car. Um, if it's a karmic situation, it's like intertwining, intermingling, shit like that. If it's a not, if he's not even in a karmic situation, this is more so him just like blending his energies with people he don't need to be blending his energies with. Socializing with toxic people. Doing deals with people he don't need to be doing deals with. He's like, you know what I mean? Just... It's like hats. He wears so many hats. He wears so many faces. He don't know who he really is anymore. He's lost. And aside from him being lost, he's getting lost in, in somebody else's sauce. Like, this is the equivalent of, like, man. This is the equivalent of like living life on the edge. I got a cousin. Story time. I got a cousin. You know, he's going through some shit. We hang him. Downstate, not Chicago. This is like 309. Bloomington, normal. 
ça ou non ça ça te boumio cause going to do some shit so it's the street in Bloomington called Main Street it's Main Street going up Center Street going down or vice versa I don't live in Bloomington that's just my hometown I'll be there like that I forgot anyway it's one long ass street that go through the entire town and when you get to like downtown Bloomington you can catch the lights like if you can catch the green light, it'll, you'll literally catch like a smooth ride catching every green light. But if it's yellow, you'll catch every yellow. And we love catching them. Well, I don't like catching yellows, but this is the thing people do. They just drift the yellows until they become red. And once they get red, they literally skate the red till they till they out. Like so, you can't do that anymore. And um, Cuz was I don't know what Cuz was on. I don't know if he was depressed, suicidal. This motherfucker had me in the passenger seat of his car. Going 70 miles per hour and a 30 mile per hour speed limit. Catching all yellow lights. He was having fun. Me? I'm... Hey man, what the fuck, man? Hey man, oh shit, I'm scared. I'm, oh my god, like, the fuck? <laughs> why? You know what I'm saying? Like, why, why, why? Why am I intermingling with you? I knew I should have stayed my ass home. I shouldn't even be in the car with your motherfucking ass, Joe. You're going through some shit. Why do I have to go on this fucking ride with you, B? I'm caught up. I'm in the fucking passenger seat. Caught up in his shit. Because he's going through a phase. He's feeling whatever the fuck. He in danger in my life, but I'm blessed. And <laughs> I always have like a no fear type attitude with me that I'm going to be good. Like until I fulfill God's purpose, I know I'm straight. So I'm going to put what happened. I'm going to survive until I die fulfilling my purpose. And I'm long, I'm long well for that. So I'm not tripping too hard. I'm just more so shocked at Cousin's behavior. Why? Are you nigga? You got kids. <laughs> Boy, you got kids. Boy, you got many. Not one, fam. You got a few. You don't even want to live for your kids. Then you disrespecting your little cousin, little cousin. <laughs> tweaking. He tweaking so hard. I'm caught up in this shit. That's why I don't fuck with karmics either. Who the fuck if it's family? Karmics. Only a karmic will danger your life. Get your ass shot, robbed, stabbed, smoked out here. Family or fucking not, yo. What, family ain't foes? That's like thinking the devil ain't in the church. Message. <laughs> That's just the overall and bottom line energy, fam. Man. Let's just paint a picture of where we at right now. Like, And the devil card is here in regards to himself. He has the devil card. He's self-destruction. Anyway, this... Mystery Madness wrote, because this ain't no karmic read. On the fence. Divine Madison is on the fence. Coming into the situation, in the Mystery Madness wrote, he's on the fence. And in regards to himself, he's going through the dark line of the soul. I just take it as, this is the start. He's sitting on the fence, realizing, shit soaking in, what has to be done. He's got to start this ride. Got to end something and begin something. And it's like... Let's go. It's like turning yourself in prison or jail or for a crime you committed. Or, you know, you did some foul ass shit at a party or some shit and you finally showing up to, to, to face the music, facing the music. You don't want to face the music, but you got to face it. And that's what he's on his way to do. But by him facing the music, he's going to get some awareness emotionally. Cup, basic cups, unconditional love. He's going to get some unconditional love for himself. Do his unconditional love for you. Like I said, the boy don't love himself. <laughs> That's why he out here wilding. But you love yourself, though, feminine. And you love him so. Told you. Nine times out of ten, divine feminine, you're the only person in his life that's giving him love in the manner that you're giving it to him. Once again, that go with the sauce. He's dry. You know what I mean? He's going to start reminiscing about the times where he has someone in this corner who loved him for him not because of anything you know made him feel like a man when he was a kid out here 
gave him unconditional love when he didn't even love his motherfucking self. Or he even knew what love was, that he's realizing what love is right now. Just get a newfound sense of awareness when it comes to love, the heart, feelings, emotions. As far as himself, though, and the feminine energy, we got the queen of swords. So once again, this is like he's trying to remove himself or he's eliminating a particular feminine out of his life. I take it as you. And I'll explain why in a minute, because it's really below this unconditional love he's getting. This is you giving him unconditional love and him cutting that shit away like it meant nothing. And he did. He's still in that mode. And he's a queen. There's no kings out here. The only king out here is the tough love shit that's happening in the mystery madness room. It ain't even really directly connected to him. The devil got him, though. <laughs> mystery madness, bro. In regards to the divine masculine, here go that pinnacle from the last reading. If you looked at the last reading, this was his future. Here's his future sitting on top of the devil card, almost like the devil waiting to gulp that shit up. <laughs> Telling you, the devil waiting, he's chilling. It's like a fucking hyena that watches a lion kill prey, hunt it, kill it. And then a the hyena roll up smiling, laughing. Like, man, I bet that was hard. Tracking and killing that nigga, huh? You like, man, you better get the fuck out of here before I bite your face off. And then he, ah the whole hyena pack come. And they so deep, you got to get the fuck out of Dodge. You got to leave your prize. You attained, A, for attained this. You finally got it. Like, you finally got that antelope you was chasing for like 20 minutes. You far as hell away from your crib. You least would have felt good walking back with a big piece of carcass in your mouth, you know what I'm saying, to bring back to the pride. And you a male lion hunting. That's rare. The women lion hunt. So it's like you did all this work. If a lion got to come out to hunt, a male lion got to come out to hunt, shit must be real. It's like he came out to hunt because shit real. Finally found something good, some substance to bring back to the motherfucking pride. And it's like the devil was waiting there, had a whole trap set up, called the squad, overran him, obviously. Because, voila. If he wasn't here, maybe he would have brought this shit back to the crib. But he took an L. Thus, the dark night of the soul. Not like he's working with the devil. It's like the devil came through and just did some foul ass shit. This ain't even a tower moment. This is literally like somebody came through and did some foul ass shit. But he's a Decepticon. This karma would be in the Decepticon. If you lying about who you are, somebody gonna lie about who they are. If you lying, they're lying. But you do come back to you. Like fucking boomerang. And you permit what you promote and you promote what you permit. If you a liar, you gonna permit liars to fuck with you. Because you promoting lying. So you permitting lying. Uh, he let this devil in. And it got him. Duped him. Because <laughs> he blending energies with the wrong motherfuckers. Tough love. Going to the future of this mask. Beating himself up. Why? Because in regards to himself going to the future, he's got a tough road to hoe. Seven of Wands. Uphill battle. It's like, man, he got to the cusp of getting what he needed to get to go back to the crib. To, I guess, get back right with the pride. Maybe that's why they sent his ass out to hunt. To redeem himself or some shit. And not only did he find it, he lost it to some damn hyenas. Who he could easily beat because the devil's a bitch. He's a, he's a bitch. That's no power. You have more power than this fuckboy. I don't even know why he even popping. Of course he gonna get help. Can't beat you by himself. Yeah. He enlisted, the, the cockroach enlisted some help to kind of Fuck up the divine masculine shit that he got going on now. Really, because it was a good time to be redeemed right now. Like I say, it's almost like 
It's like this shit happened at the wrong time. Like you got the right timing, shit happened at the right time. This shit happened at the wrong time. Now he got tough love on himself after he just found unconditional love. After he just got aware of his own whatever. And then this devil shit happened. He manifested something. Devil shit happened. Now he kicking his own ass after just giving himself some love. Once again, that's how the devil works. He a bitch. He know he can't take nothing from you. Yeah, he took that. He took your prize, but he didn't take, he didn't do the kill. Like, he didn't take the kill. He wasn't man enough to do the kill. He'll never be man enough to kill that antelope like that. Because he's a bitch. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, you don't want to be aware of that. Because you just lost something you just had in your hand. Like, you just had it. You know what I'm saying? And it's gone. Of course, you're going to beat yourself up about it. Because he's fighting an uphill battle. It's an uphill battle now because now he has to go out and attain that shit again. And he tired and burn energy and resources because he's going through the dark night of the soul. He just spent a lot trying to make something happen and it fell and it didn't happen. And now he got to go to the future with a new plan. But everything happens for a reason. Clarification time. Hold on, momento. A lot of doubles in here. Two aces, two nines, two fives, two twos, two sevens. Three twos. Three aces. Two jacks. Death card. I'd like to see that where that's at. Damn it. <clears throat> Reaping what you saw. <clears throat> so, clarifying this Decepticon. Ten of Swords. Kill that noise. You gotta destroy that Decepticon shit. Be your true authentic self. Be your true authentic self. You got to end something to begin something. Soon you end this Decepticon energy, you can at least move forward. You're taking the mask off. Now you can at least see what the hell in front of you. Okay? Because bottom line, the line masculine, these people you two are cuffing, putting your energies around, keep in mind you're reaping what you sow. What happens when you fuck with karmics? When you fuck with karmics, you run the risk of getting burnt. You've been fucking with karmics for a long time now and you're getting burnt out the ass. 8 plus 2 is 10. And end that shit. Coming in this thing. Mystery Madness Road. Why I'm asking. This on the fence business. It's being clarified by the two of pinnacle business. You need to get off the fence and level up. Two of pinnacle. Which I take is he's going to come see somebody. Somebody that's higher than him. Somebody he looks up to. Somebody he's trying to get in the same space with. Two, two. My masculine coming to the situation, clarifying this dark night of the soul. We got the five of cups, the hermit card. Two, two, five, five, seven, seven. End to sevens. You got to put an end to being on a fence and being in your head because that's what it is. You on a fence is just you being in your head about this. This is what you want, but this is where you at. Because you don't want this bad enough. You're going through the dark night of the soul. You isolated. You asked out. You know what I mean? It's the equivalent of 
being a homeless man with no coat in Chicago in the wintertime with a dog. <laughs> Hermit, you alone in the world, man. You in a class all by yourself. Not the smart class, the slow class. It's just depressing. Like my homies in high school who was in demo, the slow class. Like, that shit fuck with them. Everybody that I look at and see now who's in the slow class, they are in a slow position still in life. Not good to be in a slow class. My twin was in a slow class. <laughs> Emmy still affects him today. He ain't slow, he's just special. <laughs> Is Mystery Madness growing a feminine energy? Unconditional love? Stress. That's why this is a Mystery Madness row. Once again. He was getting unconditional love from you, Divine Feminine, and that whole time he was stressed about that shit. Because he don't deal with feelings. He ain't emotional. It's hard for him to wrap his mind, sports mind, around these emotions, yet alone embracing these emotions. And that's exactly what it's me. It's hard for him to wrap. It's like a net. It's like hard for him to wrap his mind around this whole union than it is to be in the heart space of it. Maybe he goes there every once in a while. He really goes to that place where he puts in his head how this would be. Pictures his union for a second. Pictures life with you. Pictures what it could be. And gets so overwhelmed. And so overwhelmed. So emotional about it. That it hurts him. It pains him. See, this is the reason why you even see shit like this. Because that's how they think. That's how the masculine thinks. He overthinks three times at a same. Like, it's like, it's over time. You make, like I say, you... Divine feminines, it's like y'all f- change each other's brain frequency, brain structures. In my opinion, twins, when they engage in like most twins do, like me and my twin, like most twins do, I think y'all change each other's brain makeup. You change appearances. It's part of the whole twin flame demo. I'm going to put it like this. When my twin thirty years old, me. I keep him young, I think. Because like I said, this nigga he knows how to... It's like, he does what I do, but does it from an older perspective. Like how I dress, how I carry myself, my demeanor, whether that's the shoes, it's like my swag, my sauce. Like he got my sauce, he dressed like me, you know what I'm saying? But he's an older guy that dresses nice. I dress nice. He, he's an older guy that dresses like, that, that dress nice. It puts him in a whole other league. It's not like he dresses like an old guy. But it's not like he dresses like a young ass kid trying to look cool. Like, nah, it's a good blend. He puts his own spin on my shit, but it's our shit. It's our swag. You know what I mean? Like I said, when I first met my twin, he was bald. And, like, real heavier than what he was now. And then when I met him, I was bald and heavier than I was now. When we met each other and start blending energies, which is just kicking it. Like I said, if you ain't really got to the scoop of uh, my Twin Flame demo, just check out my videos. I'll talk about it all day. Non-physical, because this is all we do. We blend emotional energy, spiritual energy, etheric energy. You know what I'm saying? We just blend it. Right? My hair go back. I got the butters, too. <laughs> my hair go back. I start losing weight. His hair go back. He start losing weight. I go get glasses. He got the same damn pair. I go get the damn shoes. He got the same pair of shoes on, like, and then we got the same feet size. We wear the same clothes, our clothes and shit. Like, we physically fit to where we can. I guess we got the same size shoes. Got the same size waist, same size clothes. He's just a different dynamic, but I'm a different dynamic. But we the same. Like I'm six one, like two forty. That's why my clothes fits him because he's like six four two forty fifty. No, two fifty two sixty. Probably heavier than that, but it's like we just, we different, but we the same. Damn, they got the same prescriptions and shit. So it's just fit. We automatically fit in each other's space. I take it because we've been blending energy so long. We started to look at look like each other, act like each other. 
but at the same time, different because we are two different entities. I'm saying all that shit to say this. All that energy blended. All that admiration of seeing like, damn, you know what I'm saying? We do look alike. Like, we do act alike. We do blend. It's like you're going to miss blending. It's like if you're a juicer. You juice all day, and then it's like you wake up and you ain't got no fruits or no soy or whatever you do to blend. It's like, damn. I used to juice a lot. Now I ain't juiced in a minute. And you just feel different. You're so used to juicing. No? It's just different. An absence. That's where the stress come in. It's the absence of the love. Absence of the admiration. Absence of the feminine. This is the feminine role in the mystery madness world. As far as the divine masculine in the mystery madness world. We got the Lucy Lou card being clarified by this nine of wands once again. He cut you off like you was some random karma. He Lucy Lou your ass. Like he really, the way he did you is something he'll do to a karma, something you'll do to a, a regular person. He treated you like a regular person and eliminated you out of his life like a regular ass karmic. And that shit hurts to the fucking core. Like I said to my twin in the exit speech, it's like, all right, this is how you want to do it? Like, you know I ain't no karmic, right? Like, you know I ain't just no regular motherfucker. No like, okay, all right. Like, I ain't, like I say, that shit can work with them. Like, it ain't me. You're not really, what I mean by that is you don't, you're not phasing me. Like, what you're trying to do, you, like, you're trying to, you think you're doing something, but you're not. Like, you're really hurting yourself. Wounded warrior. You're really hurting yourself. That's what he did. He's hurting himself at the end of the day. He's realizing that. He's not being ghosted by you and no shit like that. He's really in his feelings like Kiki right now in that feminine role right there. As far as the masculine energy in the mystery madness role with this big ass manifestation, we got the three of cups. Did we see this before, too? So once again, if it takes a karmic situation for him to get an aha moment in the 3D, it has to happen. And it was God's plan. God's plan for it to happen. I mean, you might knock karmics. You might, you know what I mean? Whatever. It's just, he's learning. He don't just get lessons from you. He gets lessons from God. He gets lessons from his kids. He gets lessons from his neighbors. He gets lessons from the cops. He gets lessons from the guy that robbed and mugged him, <laughs> mugged him the other week and shit. You know what I mean? Like, he gets lessons in every form, shape, and fashion. They just don't come from you to one. You know? Now, the lessons that you kick are good jewels that he definitely needs around. However, don't think that you're the one that's supposed to teach him this divine lesson or it's your job to teach him all this shit. No. He's going to get taught from other levels. So understand that. You might try to teach him a lesson and he might not get it. You might get mad and lash out on him, but he still got to deal with your situation and all the other situations he got to deal with aside from your shit. You got to hear other people's mouths beside yours. He got to deal with other Dark Knight of the Souls besides the Dark Knight of the Soul of this Twin Flame shit. You can go through all this shit and maneuver in the way you know how is your trinity. He's not Neo. He's still Mr. Anderson. Trying to grasp this whole Neo trinitized twin flame ascension soul process, son. Because at the end of the day, he's rushing fast and furiously towards this devil. He's running to the devil. Not for what you think. <laughs> it's like. This ain't the real devil. Like I said, he's a bitch. It ain't like you can summon his puss ass up and holler at him. I mean, you could if that's what you believe in. But like I said, you're the one that has more power than he does. So if you're summing up someone who's more powerless than, like, who's powerless than you, you tweaking. <laughs> so it's like he wants to have a conversation with this jackal. Remember I told you, it's the whole jackal thing. Right? See, he's in a three of cups situation, but something got his ass out here like attaining shit. It's like he has to attain something for this three of wands, like this three of cups. I take it as he needs to get it to end this shit so he can, bottom line, start two of cup in 
you to buy a feminine so he can reap good seeds. He's three a couple. And it's like, he got to put an end to this. And it's just like, the only way he can put an end to this is bringing this back here. This is like a lion leaving the pride or whatever. They sent him to go get something for him to come back, which was a piece of big piece of slab of meat. And it's like he went out to go get it. He got it. But this whack ass little hyena who was peeping him moving fast and furiously towards this shit kind of stifled him, set a trap for him, called out the squad. All the hyenas came and feasted on this little carcass. So now he ain't got shit to bring back to this Three of Cups situation. Who knows how dire this Three of Cups situation he's in. <sighs> Once again, like, you don't know what the fuck he's really going through outside of this Twin Flame Union. This is the equivalent of, like, man, he got some fucked up loans. He owns a loan shark, and he out here doing anything for the paper to get what he got to do to get the fuck out this demo. I don't know what he got to do to free himself out of these three cuffs. It's the Matrix. It's the Matrix. You know what I'm saying? This shit is... Man. It's the Matrix, player. <laughs> it's the Matrix. It's not Zion. Zion rules don't apply in the Matrix. Sin, death, doom. All that sin shit. The, the church be talking about, that negative shit. All that shit dwell in the, in the matrix. That's only where you're going to find that type of substance. That's only where you're going to find that type of thinking. You can only be trapped in the matrix. You can't be trapped in Zion. Masculine, he out here dancing with the devil. Trying to free himself, though. So that's what's up. And he's got divine help, so he be all right. Going to the future in this mystery madness role with this tough love shit. It's like he's going to have to get passionate. He's going to have to get with it. He's going to have to ascend once again. It's like you had your little carcass. The carcass got ate up. You failed. You're kicking your own ass about it. And it's like instead of showing your, instead of kicking your own ass, okay, kicking your own ass, how about you take your ass the fuck on somewhere else? This is a rocket ascension. This is how you get to your divine feminine. This is how you get to Zion. This is direction to Zion to home. This is direction home. This is the direction to your twin. You feel me? You've been going back and forth for a long time. You're thinking this is the only way you move. But look at it. This is red. This is black. This is a wand. This is a cup. This is pentacles. This is all 3D shit. That only goes this way. Stop going left and right. Start going up. You know why you need to go up? Because <laughs> this is an uphill battle you are dealing with, right? How do you get up a mountain? You get up a mountain. That's why this shit look too big for you or no, like you can't. Like this mountain looks like a block that's in his way. And he's like quitting because he sees the mountain but forgetting that he has to go up. He's not. He's trying to go around the mountain. When he needs to go up. But only a karmic can tell him to go around a mountain. Once again, around. 3D way. <coughs> 3D influences. Swirling with whack ass energies and shit. Only a divine feminine will give him the insight by being groomed by the white one, baby. Uh huh. Only a feminine will groom you what you need to do to get you where you need to go. You're not being groomed anymore. I was really like a kid who don't know what the fuck to do. He went around here like a motherless child. Poor thing. What does the divine master want to let the divine? No. Yeah. What does the divine master want to let the divine feminine know? And this little demo right here. He's gonna go rolling with the homies. You know what I'm saying? Surfboard. Hey, six of swords. Moving from an okay situation to a better situation. Moving to a whole another state of mind, state of consciousness. Just rolling with the right people, sowing good seeds. You know, a whole another direction. He's letting you know he's going a whole another direction. And he's headed towards you.
what the Divine Masculine's fourth and fifth dimensional self want to tell himself in the 3D right now? You better boss up and stop bitching. Boss up and stop bitching. You, <laughs> his fourth, fifth dimension, like his 3D self is like, yeah, I'm going to roll to you. I'm on my way. You know what I'm saying? I'm going against the grain. And his fourth, fifth dimensional self is saying, yeah, you talking that shit, but make it happen. See, this is Schwartz. You in your head. He's just thinking about heading your way. He's just getting on the path ahead in your way. He ain't, he ain't no pinnacle here. He ain't manifest shit. Like, I hear you, but boss up. What does the universe want to let the master know? Right? It's a celebration card. <laughs> now the universe want to hit you with a celebration rant. And yeah, you should be happy that, uh, that Jackal took that little prize from you. Know what I'm saying? So you thought it was sweet, didn't you? You thought you was just gonna get you thought it was gonna be easy, huh? Nah, you should celebrate. See, this is how real it is for your divine feminine. You see what the fuck just happened to you? That shit happened to her all the time. You see this dark night of soul you in? And you tripping over? Oh, she go through that shit all the time. What you need to be celebrating is that you finally going through some real shit. You know? You going through some matrix problems. Congratulations. But now you're going through Zion problems. And it's too real for you. It's like, you know, like, look, at least you don't have to be in Zion. Like, you can't even handle this, this shit that just happened to you. Yeah, go back in the Matrix, man. You're a little kid. You can never live in the real world with your twin. Ever. You're too soft. Like, you, you, you soft. You cannot make it up here. You know what I mean? Which is going to affect him in a few ways. You know what I mean? It's going to make him look at the whole celebration shit he was trying to tell you. He was telling you, Divine Feminine, yeah, you should go, you know, uh, go find a man that you're looking for. Go find the woo, woo that you've been looking for. I'm not in your way anymore. You know, this, that, and the third. It's like he's trying to convince you that you should be celebrating because he's not in a way holding you back like he is and he's not. Like, he can't be the man that you want him to be when he's already that person. Like, you know what I mean? It's just like, that's what he started to think now. He started to see everything he said doesn't even make sense. Because he's in the same position now. When he told you, when he pieced you out in that celebration, he immediately regretted that shit. Put himself through this whole karmic situation, like this whole situation, only to... Get an aha moment on that whole celebration rant that he was giving and how it's like irrelevant now. He's celebrating that he can't fade you. So he can't. Like the whole back and forth shit, that's dead. There's no way you he can get back at you or hurt you or try to get the upper hand. Because it's like y'all ain't even playing the game no more. Game ain't even being played. It's like the universe is saying you should celebrate, but you don't have to play this game no more. Because you can't play the game anymore. Like, he cannot play the game with you anymore. He's not playing the game with you anymore. This is what he wanted. The universe is saying, celebrate that, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, you don't feel like celebrating. That's bad, right? Okay. Now think about what your feminine had to go through while you was giving out this whole speech. Look how you feel. Now imagine how she feel. Not like you, because she's more stronger than you are. She can endure this type of shit. That's all. This whole masculine situation is just like a continuation of his own actions. Like I say, because it's the bottom line. You reap from what he's sowing out here. Sowing good seeds and bad seeds. He's looking at his whole harvest of bad fruit thinking, damn, this same harvest could have been a whole pail of good fruits had I stayed in my lane. <laughs> And that's that's what I got. You know what I'm saying? That's the message that I got. I hope I can be of some assistance. I got to digest this. Deuces.